Peace of the Lord with everyone. Uh, another funny story in the Quran. This is Surah number 6, verse number 37. In here, and actually verse number 38, you know, uh, this is an Am Surah, which simply is a Surah talking a lot about animals. In here, the God of Islam saying that there is not an animal that lives on earth, <coughs> which means all of them, no exception, nor being that flees in its wings but forms parts of community like you so they are community like you okay they are nations like you nothing we have omitted from the book and all they all shall be gathered to the Lord in the end what does that mean anybody understand anything <laughs> If we go to the explanation, we can get more. But before we go there, you know, simply the God of Islam saying, all nations in the world, and this is what the Muslims believe, you can ask any Muslim, they will tell you all animals worship God. All of them, they worship Allah, and they pray for Allah. Okay, what does that mean? It means all animals, they are community like you, which means they are Muslims like you. And all of them, they will be gathered to their Lord. Gathered for what? why God will gather the animals you know when we say that we will be gathered in front of the Lord we are talking about the judgment day and why he is gathering us for a reason what is the reason for judgment so it's judgment day why we are there to be judged which means we will be punished so in here the God of Islam saying to me I will stand next to a chicken and he is going to question the chicken Asking her why you did eat someone else poo poo because chicken eat poo poo, in case you don't know. Or he will ask, uh, he will question a, a, a rabbit for eating a carrot from a farmer farm. Or he will question a fly for stopping in the nose of somebody. What this guy is talking about? How you want to gather the animals in the judgment day and for what? And by the way, if the Muslims believe that the animals are Muslims, this means that those animals, they pray. Right? And they believe in that. Which means they are Muslims who have book. Which means the chicken we eat, they read Quran. And they have Quran. But wait, where is the Quran? We don't know. Maybe under their wings. But the funny, that Muslims know that the chicken is a Muslim, but they are eating the chicken. Which means a Muslim, he is eating his sister in Islam. Because when you eat a goat and you know the goat is a Muslim, you know, you are eating your brother or your sister in Islam. So, in here, if somebody can explain to me why the, the, why the animals will be gathered, it's going to be Muhammad. So, let us see what Muhammad is saying. Here we go. This is Al Qurtubi saying that the Baha'im, which means the animals, they are going to be judged in the judgment day and some of them they will go to the day of Hashr, some of them they will go to heaven and some of them they will go for hell. What, what does that mean? You know, I'm really confused in here. Can somebody tell me why animals will go to heaven or go to hell. If you continue, summa ila rabbi hum yahsharun. So everybody will gather in front of the God in the judgment day. So the Baha'im tuhshar yom al qiyamah. They will stand in front of the God for judged, to be judged. And he's saying here, everything will be gathered in the front of God in the judgment day. Animals, donkeys, birds, everything. And then the God, he will do his judgment. What is that? What does that mean? What for? Okay, and as long the Quran and the other verse we saw, it says that, you know, all those animals, they are the same as you. They are people like you. They are community like you. 
you know, and here he's saying, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا We send in every nation a prophet. Every nation. Now, ummah in here, not people, by the way. This is Muslim translation, it's false. Ummah mean a nation. Doesn't mean. You can go to Google translation, and you can pause the text as it is, and you will see. It's going to come out as a nation, not people. Uh, uh, you know, the Muslims are really very funny. Like mankind, people, they translate mankind as people. Suddenly now a nation became people. If it says, we surely send among every people, what every people? It's been every nation, not every people. Anyway, so as long the other verse saying that all animals, they are community like you, and they are nations like you, and they are believers like you, and they believe in God like you. And here is saying, we assuredly send a messenger for every nation like you. A messenger would command to serve Allah and eschew evil. You know, I don't know. Islam teach evil. Islam, don't tell you, don't stay away from evil because killing Christians, killing Jews, killing Hindus, killing someone he leaves Islam, isn't it evil? You know? So, I don't know. But anyway, you know, you can different, give names. You can be a drug dealer and you say, I am the good and you are the bad. You know? But the, the bad is bad and good is good. You know, it doesn't matter what the name you call. Anyway, so in here, he's saying something very funny and very, very, very cool, actually. I like it because this is, will show how big, fat liar is the God of Islam. He sent for every nation a messenger from them, from their nation. So, as we say that the chicken and the goats and the donkeys and the fly, all of them, they are Muslims and they are believers in God. Which means God, Allah, He sent a Muslim, Muhammad, like Muhammad, He is a fly. A messenger for the fly. And a messenger for uh, 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 donkeys. I don't know what his name. You, you, you name him. You know? And in the top of that, you know, if you look at the surah in here, by the way, you will see the surah. This is surah 16. Even, even the surah name, it's for an insect surah. You know? I don't know if that's telling you something. Anyway, so uh, uh, if this verse true, and God He sent to every nation a messenger. Where is the messenger of China for Islam? Who is he? Ching Chong Muhammad. Who is the messenger of uh, Japan? Suzuki uh, Fakuki uh, Yamayama Ali. Who is the messenger of Japan or you know uh, uh, Germany? Who is the messenger messenger of Australia? What what this guy is talking about? He assure you that he is sending every mess a messenger from every nation, from your nation, not Muhammad. Remember. Read with me. We surely send among every people. He insists every people, not to all people one prophet. No. So, should be there is a messenger for Islam sent by Allah to the Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, etc. Where are they? We never heard of them. This is, will show another lie in the Quran and will show how Quran contradict itself. You know, if you are stupid, the much you talk, the much people laugh at you. Honestly. Otherwise, I want Muslims to show me where are they, those messengers. Where are they? And I can show another verse saying that they are speaking from their language even. Not only, you know, they are from their uh, people. No, they are speaking their language. And I can show you that. Okay, this is our proof. Allah, He sent the messenger from every nation, language, with their language. So, Surah 14, verse 4, we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. You see it? So, Muslims cannot say to us, Muhammad is the messenger of the Chinese. Because in here is saying different messengers who speak their languages. Every language and every nation language. This is showing us how big fat lie is the Quran. I, I should make another video about this one. Because I don't think I give it enough time. So, thank you all. God bless you. Islam is false. Jesus is Lord. And truth is a truth. And the truth will set you free. Thank you. Amen.